Now to this, an attempted murder suspect and a few firearms are off the streets tonight thanks to a single police drone. Help to I positively identify him as the person of interest. Two people were arrested by Stockton police in its efforts to use drones to keep the community safe. New tonight, CBS 13's Jen McGraw is live in studio with details on this high tech bus, Jen. Yeah, Tony and Christina, they say it's the wave of the future and it's working. While searching to arrest one suspect, the drone was able to catch another in a separate crime in progress. The high tech flying machine is proving its worth. The eyes in the sky flew over Taft Park Tuesday evening, catching an attempted homicide suspect from back in December. They knew of him. They knew um, where he frequented. The 16-year-old is suspected of gunning down a man on Bianchi Road. Now he's behind bars. It's a crime-catching tool that's a shock to the community. I ain't never heard about cops using drones, but I mean, it's, it's some slick stuff going on in the world. But that's not all police were able to see from above. Captured footage of another person in the same area during the same time uh, going into his vehicle and putting a handgun in his waistband. That led to the arrest of 22-year-old Terry Emerson. The visual gave police cause to conduct a traffic stop Revealing three handguns. Anytime we get handguns off the streets, it, it's a very significant and um, successful uh, case. Stockton police say in similar situations, they would have to set up a perimeter on the ground. We have to come in in a team and search these blocks and, and houses one by one, and it's a very unsafe thing to do. With the aerial views, investigators say they can better search crime scenes and catch criminals. Also, if they break out of a perimeter and, and take off, we'll be able to stay with them, call in resources. Stockton PD says the benefits of drones are high reaching and will better protect communities in all types of high risk situations. The juvenile was taken into custody. His identity was not released. Emerson is also in jail. His bail is set at $4.5 million.